right, let's go. Let's create a Docker Compose file. It's going to have our services. Let's start with the database. And we have to indicate the image, which gonna which you're gonna use the Postgres latest version currently 17. Um, we're gonna have environment variables. We're gonna have Postgres database. Uh, let's start with the user. It's gonna be user password will be password. And the, let's say tasks. And the lastly, for now, is going to define the port. And this is going to be array. So we're going to give 5, 4, 3, 3. And this is going to be like this. 3, 2. All right. So let's actually run this and make sure if it's working. Yeah, looks like all good. Asks. We have the Postgres is up and running, so let's continue. Create the module, go mod, um, say tasks. And I'm gonna get the GitHub com library Piku, and I'm gonna get it. And let's go and create the main file as well. And let's get the DB and if it's possible, but for that we need the connection string. User will be user, password will be password, DB, DB name will be tasks, port will be three two five four three three and SSL mode will be disabled. And let's use Postgres driver here with the connection string. And we have to import also the library itself for the driver. And if it is error, then let's panic. Otherwise, let's try to ping it. If error not nil, then panic here as well otherwise yeah we gotta say connected success fully right that should work let's run it yeah looks like the, we have the database connection and let's continue with the creating the mig first migration Migrate, create extension gonna be SQL directory will be migrations. Let's go to the next line. This will be create tasks table. Let's check migrations is created. Looks like it is. So let's create the table tasks. It will be serial primary key and name will be worker let's define 520 owner will be also worker let's do it 50 for this and the priority will be integer and not null let's make the others not null as well And also make sure this is I don't patent drop table if exists tasks. And let's put it here as well. And I'm gonna migrate database. Let's go to next line. Postgres. Local, let's put the user password localhost 5433 and database will be tasks and we're gonna indicate SSL mode will be disabled. 
oops let's go to the next line and we have to define the path which is migrations and we're gonna do up i think this has to be with the one s all right looks like go to database and add it here it's gonna be postgres and it's going to be localhost this is going to be a tree user will be user password database will be tasks and this should be working and we can see the tables as well with the migrations All right so far so good so let's come here and do the basic crude operations let's start with the create uh, we're gonna have a <coughs> we're gonna have a query here and we're gonna do insert into tasks it's gonna be name owner and priority and we're gonna define values and for that let's create the actually top extract which is gonna be task name string owner string also let's have the id as well integer and priority it's going to be integer let's define our first task it's going to be name will be first task owner will be joe and priority will be one let's say and let's try to insert this to the database and then we are, we are gonna run the query row because i want to get the idea of to record which is inserted to the database so query let's do task name task owner task priority and also we're gonna scan and gonna get the task id to here if there is an error let's panic here otherwise that should be good to go so let's run it okay we forgot one thing returning id we have to put this to be able to get it so i'm gonna delete this first record and rerun this now if you look here we already got the first task and uh, everything looks okay and let's try to update it actually um so we're going to change the query update tasks set name let's put it here and where as well and we're gonna run the execute this time with the query and we have to give let's change it here so task name will be updated task you have to get id here to update the correct record and you're gonna get error you don't need result if error is not nil then let's panic again anyways we have to do this as an id so let's run it again and let's check the database yeah looks like let's move everything and try again so we have to be sure so let's let's run it again yeah the it's it's inserted and afterwards it's updated it updated 
So let's um, leave it here. So we did so far <coughs> the basic um, setup, then afterwards to create an update and then put this to GitHub and share it in the comments. And then you can also code along and see you in the next one.